one next. Oh, we're live. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. party. Um, we are going to uh, go ahead and get started. Um, just so you know what we're going to do today, we are going to have a story. Um, this story is going to be a little different than you might be used to if you do story time because I'm not going to use a book. I'm just going to tell it with my words and my hands. Um, so that means that you get to use your imagination to picture it in your mind. And that's what we do when we read. We like to picture those, those scenes in our mind. And then we'll show you the different activities for today. And then we will explain our takeaway kits. All right, so let's start with our story. And it is a story about a castle, since this is our castle party, and a prince that lives in the castle. And when we do fairy tales, we like to start with once upon a time. So once upon a time, there was a young prince who lived in a kingdom and he loved his people so much that he wanted to find a princess who would be the perfect princess for his kingdom. And so he went looking for what he thought was truly the best princess. So he left his kingdom and he traveled far and wide and he met lots of princesses. But some of those princesses had long, beautiful hair but they were so vain, all they wanted to do was look in the mirror at themselves, and they didn't see anybody else around them. And that wasn't what he was looking for. So then he looked other places, and he saw princesses with beautiful dresses and lots of jewels, but they sometimes were very selfish and greedy, and they kept all that stuff to themselves, and they didn't share it with anyone. And that wasn't the kind of princess he wanted either. And sometimes he'd find princesses that were just so beautiful on the outside, but then when he'd get to know them, he'd find out that they weren't very nice and they were kind of mean to their people. And that wasn't the kind of princess he wanted either. So he went home and he was very sad because he wanted to find a really sweet, wonderful princess who was good on the inside and the outside. So one day, after he'd been home for a few weeks, there was a huge storm outside and the lightning flashed, and the thunder crashed, and the rain came down in sheets, just so much rain. And in the middle of this, there was a knock on the door. And the prince thought, who is at my door in the middle of this storm? So he and the king and the queen went to the door, and they opened it up, and there was a girl there, just a young girl, and she was sopping wet, she was covered in water, the rain was dripping down her clothes and into her shoes and out the toes. And her hair had all come down and it was dripping in her face and she just looked so sad. And she said, oh, your highness, I am a princess from a far off land and I got caught in this horrible storm and I've lost my escort and I'm cold and I'm hungry and can I please come into your house? And the prince looked at her and he thought, she doesn't look much like a princess. But he was a kind prince and no way was he turning out anybody in this awful storm. So he brought her in and turned her over to the servants to help her get some dry clothes and some food. Now the queen had heard this and she thought, hmm, my grandma told me about a test to see if a young girl is a true princess. So the queen went into the bedchamber where the servants were getting it ready and she took one little tiny small pea and she lifted up the mattress and she stuck it under the mattress. And then she had the servants put another mattress on, and another, and another, and another, until there were 25 mattresses on top of that one little pea. And then she had them put a blanket on, and then another, and another, and another, until there were 25 blankets on top of 25 mattresses on top of one little pea. Now our young princess came in, and she looked at that tall, tall bed, and she thought, I'm so tired, but I have to climb up it. So she climbed up the ladder all the way to the top and she snuggled in. And just as she was about to fall asleep, she goes, ouch, there's something poking me in the back. So she rolls over, she snuggles in, she's just about to fall asleep and she goes, ouch, there's something poking my hip. 
So she rolls to the other side and she snuggles in and she goes, ouch, now there's something poking my shoulder. And all night she tossed and she turned and she turned and she tossed and she just couldn't get comfortable. Well, the next morning she was supposed to go down and have breakfast with the king and the queen and the prince. And she thought, I am so tired, but I better go. So she goes down and the prince welcomes her. She comes in and he goes, oh, how did you sleep, princess? And she goes, oh, with a great big yawn. I didn't sleep a wink. She said, no matter where I laid, there was something poking at me. And I tossed and turned all night, but I didn't sleep at all. And the queen exclaims in delight and she says, we found her, we found your princess. That's what she said to her son, the prince. She said, only someone who is kind and generous and unselfish and humble would be sensitive enough to feel that pee under all those mattresses and all those blankets. Now the prince was quite delighted because he had found his two princess, true princess and she was pretty on the outside and on the inside. So the princess came to live in this beautiful castle and she and the prince were married and they took wonderful care of all of the people in the kingdom and they of course lived happily ever after. And that is the story of the princess and the pea. I hope you guys enjoyed that and were able to envision some of those scenes as we talked about them. All right, we are going to move on to our activities. We are going to start with Ms. McMahon, who is going to show us one of our crafts. Hi, everybody. So today, we're going to make a sponge paint castle. In your baggie, your take and make bag that you'll pick up, you will have colored paper, a little bit of white paint, a little piece of sponge. Some things that you'll need to have around at home are scissors, a light colored pencil or crayon, a ruler, and some glue. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to kind of decide what you want your castle to look like. And this is where the ruler comes in handy. And you'll want the light colored pencil because you're drawing on black paper. So you just kind of decide how you want your castle to look, make some shapes. And after you do that a while, you're going to get your scissors, and then you're actually going to cut those shapes out. Now, I pre-cut one so you guys won't watch me draw for 10 minutes. So I'm going to finish cutting this one. I'm just following my white lines and the shape I want it to be. your castle shape. So then you're going to take your white, your white paint, your sponge and your white paint. Now some of it, if your sponge is a little um, stiff or hard, you might want to get it a little bit damp in the sink, but you don't want it to be soaking wet. And you don't want it to be too covered in paint. So then you're just going to take your sponge and kind of like make brick marks on your castle. So it'll look like this. Then with your colored paper, you're going to make some shapes to make doors and windows and whatever other kind of embellishments you want. I made a yellow door this time. And just put a little blue. Put it on there. Stick that down. I decided to make some blue windows. going to look different and that's the beauty of making your own castle. Thank you. All right, so now Miss Rosalie is going to show us our snack crafts. Hi everyone. So today we're going to make a graham cracker castle. So in your snack bag you're going to find three graham cracker squares. Put those on my plate. And a pretzel 
instant, a marshmallow, and Cheerios. So first we're going to start with our graham crackers. And together they make a rectangle, and that will be the bottom of our castle. Then you've got one more graham cracker. So you can, you can use a little plastic knife if you want to cut it on the lines. You can do that. Sometimes you can just break the graham cracker too. And we're going to make some shapes. Throw some towers on my castle. Okay. And then I'm going to use my pretzel stick to make some sticks on top where I'm going to put my flag. So I have a marshmallow and I'm going to cut my marshmallow in half. Might be a little sticky with your knife or you can even try scissors. Okay, so now I've got a door. I'm going to pull it apart this time and kind of squish it on my pretzel sticks. And that is going to be my flags. And the last thing you want to protect your castle is a moat. All the water around it so that nobody can come in unless you lower the drawbridge. And there's my graham cracker castle. So now you can be a hungry dragon and eat your castle. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Rosalie. All right, we have one more activity for you today. We are going to make catapults. So if you need to breach your castle wall or somebody else's castle wall, you'll have what you need. So in your kit, you'll have a bunch of craft sticks, a bunch of rubber bands, a spoon, and a couple of pom-poms. Okay? So we're going to make one right here so you can see how to do it. So first of all, you're going to take six, or I couldn't remember, six of your craft sticks and you're going to put them together in a stack, just like this, okay? Then you're going to take one rubber band and you're going to tie it around one end, take another rubber band and tie it around So that they're tied and they're not wiggling around a little. Okay? So it's going to be like that. Then you're going to take your other two sticks, put them together as well, and you're going to put the rubber band around just one end. Now, for the big people, we use rubber bands all the time and we think they're easy to use, but sometimes with those little fingers that are still building strength, that can be a challenge. So, this is a good opportunity to work on strengthening those fingers. All right, this time we're only going to put it on one end because we are going to open it up. We're going to take our big set and we're going to stick it right in between there. See now it looks kind of like an alligator's mouth, right? Now the more you can get it down, the more leverage you can get, the more height you get here, but you also don't want to pop off your rubber band. So you just got to find kind of the right place. Now we want to stick those together, otherwise it's going to move around like that. So we're going to take another rubber band and we're going to go diagonal across. And this is the really tricky part. And then we're going to go diagonally the other way. like a crisscross, okay? That's broken this time. The instructions that come with this will show you pictures of it too. So that holds it nice and steady. Now we're going to put our spoon on here. Now I'm going to start by wrapping my elastic band around my top one. Not both of them, just the top one. And then I'm going to stick my spoon in there. That way I'm not trying to hold the spoon and wrap the rubber band. Now, your choice, you can make this stick out as long as you want to or put it in a little tighter, okay? So you might experiment with that a little bit to see how um, it changes, how it flips your um, puff ball here, okay? Or artillery, I guess. All right, so a couple of things. Can you see it's up on the table next time? It okay. is. So, if we stick it on the table, I'm going to hold it here with this hand. I'm going to stick my little ball in there. I'm going to pull that back. <laughs> and Suzanne's 
moving, so I don't play any down there. But it kind of goes straight up, right? So if you just want to see how high you can get it, you can do that as much as you want. But if you feel like you need a target, you can pick it up. Miss Corinne has been warned. You still got to hold it with this hand. And then you're going to stick it in the spoon. Hold it on there. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> see how much higher and further it went? I was kind of hoping it would hit the camera, but no luck. But you can experiment a little bit with how tightly you put this down or how you hold this. Um, so there's actually a lot of science involved in this as well. So those are the activities that we have for you today. If you would like to um, do these activities at home, we do have take and make bags that are all ready to go. It's got all three of these crafts in there. And just so you have a little bit of information about how to pick up these take and makes. Um, these are available now, um, but we are asking for you to plan to pick them up on a Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday from 2 to 6 p.m. Now, today we're a little bit different because the children's staff has to leave here at 4 o'clock, so we're only going to do deliveries until 4 o'clock today, but normally it would be until 6. Um, we're doing them Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays because that's when we're here to be able to hand them out to you. Um, but we are asking that you schedule an appointment so that we know when you're coming. So you can call our summer reading hotline, which is also Ms. Kimberly's cell phone. And that number, I will put it into the description once we load this video, but the number is 720-425-9319. Okay, one more time, 720-425-9319. Okay, and that will be in the description. Give us a call. If I don't answer, leave me a message. Just leave your name, your phone number, how many kits you want, and the day and time that you would like to pick up, and then I will call you back and confirm that we um, will be able to do that. We are doing all pickups on the garage side, so come to the garage, go ahead and park, then call us back again and let us know that you're here. There's a table there that um, we'll put it on and then um, step away so that you can pick it up and we will confirm that you are who you say you are. Um, hopefully you guys all enjoyed our first party. We will be back next week, um, next Tuesday, to do another party. It will be a very similar format with different crafts and stuff. Also, if you are interested, tomorrow at 1 o'clock um, I will be making a link live that will um, give you access to an art instructor. So it's young Rembrandts. They're going to um, do some art instruction. And so you can get on and do that video. Also on Thursday at 1 o'clock, we'll be back here and we are doing out of the box. We're making castles using cardboard boxes. So if you'd like to come and watch us do that, then again, you can pick up um, take and make kits for that as well. And um, I think that's everything. So we're going to close it out with a little more music and dancing. Oh.